What's up, family? Family of the internet. Yeah, I'm feeling so grateful and so full. So amazingly full in my in my heart and my soul. Like one of my mentors used to say, my the body is tired, but the spirit is so alive. Just coming from this festival in Ohio and just yeah. I wanted to take videos of stuff. There's so much touching, so many touching and beautiful things, you know? Just real, diverse, beautiful diversity of community, just outside, close to nature, you know, children, elders, black folks, white folks. brother Superman this this indigenous performer he's probably like the most iconic like living native person right now he's such a good he's a hip-hop artist and just talks beautiful beautiful talk and so grateful to witness him and his expression and Mike Love of course you know the reason why I I mean I came from the community but the, the, the person that brings so much of the community out that has that intention to just be loving, you know, to be a good person, to stay strong, you know, to fight for freedom no matter what, you know, in the name of love, to fight for love no matter what, you know. And it's like, and that's an ironic statement, but we have to fight, you know, we have to be warriors, you know, not fighting against others, you know, but fighting all those parts of ourselves, you know, of forgetfulness, you know, the demons of selfishness, of jealousy, of pride, you know, like a, like inappropriate level of pride, um, lust. You know, like giving into giving into um, yeah these lower vibrations that don't serve us. And so yeah, just so grateful, so 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 grateful. I can't stop saying that, and I don't want to stop saying that. You know, and that's the motivation. Yeah, so I didn't have my phone. I had it off basically the whole time. Um, although I wanted to, to document, you know, and I did a little bit. But just coming on here to be like, yeah, you know, like not everybody was blessed enough to just be at this event. I mean, I went to Bend and I wound up, you know, doing, doing work with people, doing the healing work that I do. Um, I didn't make one penny of money, even though, you know, I paid the vending fee and everything. And, it's a long travel, but um, but I got to give, you know, I got to do my work, and I got some trades, there was a bunch of bartering happening, so that felt good, but yeah, the reason I come on here is to just share that, because not everybody got to go to this event, you know, but it's like encouraging to hear that, yo, know, there's amazing events happening, whether it's a music festival or just just any chance like people are coming together in community, especially close to nature. So especially outdoors in a beautiful setting. But people coming together to celebrate. It's like I've been reflecting on that phrase a lot. Celebration is is a necessary resource. You know, because we put vibrations of, of life, of aliveness out into the cosmos, saying, We're here, universe, you know, we're here and we're not perfect as human beings. We're not perfect, but we're here, and we're, so we're gonna come together and celebrate what we do have, which is this moment. What we do have, which is this breath. This breath of relatively fresh air, this drink of water, you know, these basic, basic necessities of life, clothes and shelter, transportation. because this is what gives us, this is what we live for, you know? Instead of like just hemorrhaging our energy into things that, that don't serve us, that we know are unwholesome. Like, okay, it's Friday, let me go get alcohol, you know? Or let me just, yeah, just give, give my money to all these, prescri all these prescriptions, all these subscriptions, you know, to, to these streams and stuff. So many people use their resources 
for things that don't actually fill their souls. It's like, but to, but to go to these events and come together with people, it's like, yeah, it's, it's hard to explain how, how much it fills, how much it fills the human spirit, you know? And not everybody's an extrovert, and I'm definitely an extrovert, so I love people in general, but I also need a lot of alone time, you know? Like, I, I, I go to phases and I, I do a lot of retreat. Um, but there's people that come that are more introverted, you know, and they just kind of stay at their camp or they, you know, they, they find the smaller song circles at night around a small campfire rather than the big drum circle, you know, or rather be in front and center at the state on the stage when somebody's performing. So, so yeah, I'm tuned into a lot of events coming up in the Northeast. So that feels good because yeah, for years I was just, yeah, focusing on meditation retreats and stuff. So it feels good to be back out in this way, especially after this friggin' COVID initiation we all went through in our culture. And yeah, so I just wanted to say, there's a lot of good things happening. And to just spread that good word. Finally, the last thing I'll say is, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing these group um, uh, channeled activations is the word that feels that feels alive. Just words, right? But, but yeah, it's, it's, it's powerful. And even online, like, it's, it's really cool to notice, like, how it makes no difference, you know? And, of course, it's all about, like, coming together, like, in, in person, you know, as much as possible. But it's also great to have the tool of the virtual you know, to be able to do stuff on video. So on Zoom, I'm hosting, uh, what day is today? Yeah, so tomorrow is Tuesday. So tomorrow at 8 p.m. East Coast, and I'll do another another video about this, so 5, 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be doing this channeled activation. So, um, and I'm just gonna, it's gonna be something I'm gonna start doing in a small group, ideally weekly on Tuesdays. Um, but this week, it's just totally free and open to all. Donations accepted. But um, anybody that wants to come. Uh, so what's, ha what's going to happen is... Well, I'll do another video about that. So if you're interested, stay tuned. And uh, much love. Just eight minutes talking about gratitude, talking about community, encouraging you know anybody that needs to see this. Like There's amazing things happening with humans just living free, coming together, you know? as best we can as society is on the cusp and, and in the, the, the center at the same time, you know? On the cusp of this radical change and also in the middle of it, you know? Yeah, uh, we're immersed in it right now. It's changing with the economic system and just so many things. It's, it's, um, so it's like a touchstone of reality to be like, okay, yeah, people are still coming together, just want to be human, you know? I, with all their imperfections, you know, just coming together, coming together. Peace.